Hello, everyone. I'm James Park, co-founder of Fitbit. I joined Google just a little over a year ago, and it's great to be here today to share more about how Fitbit continues to help people on their health and wellness journeys. More than 15 years ago, we created Fitbit with a vision to help make everyone in the world healthier. Since then, we pioneered a new category of wearable technology that makes health more accessible, fun, and achievable. We do this through our devices and services, and by working with health plans and employers to make health more accessible and affordable for everyone. We know that being healthy is far more than just activity. It's about holistic health and how it all fits together. For example, tracking nutrition, helping with a better night's sleep, or managing stress. Our Fitbit platform makes managing overall health fun and motivating. Behind our wearables are many technological innovations that continue to push the limits of what wearable sensors can do to make the invisible visible. For instance, Fitbit was one of the first to support continuous wrist-based heart rate tracking. We're also one of the first to bring sleep tracking to wearable devices with a multifaceted view that included measuring stages of sleep and offering insights on sleep quality. We were the first to bring an electrodermal activity or EDA sensor to wearables, measuring hand perspiration to measure how your body is responding to stress. We've also made metrics like oxygen saturation, skin temperature, and breathing rate more accessible, putting users effortlessly in control of their health and wellness. Among the areas where we believe wearables can have the most impact is heart health. Heart rate is a foundational metric for general health and well-being. And it's also been a core offering for Fitbit users from the early days. PPG optical sensors are able to measure the tiny fluctuations of blood that happen under the skin with each heartbeat. We use these sensors in our wearables to measure blood volume changes to track heart rate and variability during a workout or while sleeping. In recent years, with an increased focus on supporting chronic conditions, we tested and launched our first FDA-cleared ECG, or electrocardiogram, app that allows people to assess their heart rhythm for signs of atrial fibrillation, or AFib, a heart condition that affects nearly 33.5 million people globally. AFib can be difficult to detect outside a hospital or clinic, as episodes can be sporadic and asymptomatic. Some studies suggest that as many as 25% of people who have an AFib-related stroke find out they have AFib only after a stroke has occurred. Because it can be so hard to detect, being able to more continuously look for signs of AFib is essential, including at night when the body is at rest. That's why in 2020, we launched the Fitbit Heart Study, a clinical study directed by doctors at Harvard involving nearly half a million Fitbit users to test our PPG AFib algorithm, which looks at heart rate data passively and can alert users to sign of any irregular heart rhythm. The study results presented at the most recent American Heart Association meeting showed the algorithm accurately identified undiagnosed AFib 98% of the time. We've submitted our algorithm to the FDA for review. This is one of the many ways we're continuing to make health even more accessible to more people around the world.